All right, met up with Joe this morning, and usually we come out here and it's kind of this, if we don't do well, oh well, but it's been Normally fun to get out. Normally this place sucks. <laughs> but quite frankly, I was feeling like after filling up $93 in gas, I needed to find some teeth. In gas order to, prices suck. Yeah. Did you fill up completely this morning? Yeah. How much? Uh, $70, $80, something uh, like that. So we need $93 in teeth. Now my buddy's running the air buddy, pun intended, versus the Nebo over here. That thing runs constantly, it never stops running, which really makes it where you have to have a bigger battery and has a shorter lifespan, but let's get going. I got some bottles and whatever that is, but jaw has those lines through there definitely has some pre predator marks this thing getting eaten very cool there we go pay for gas uh-huh
It's always good to find a sloth tooth. Oh yeah. It's not something that you find. I haven't really had any good ones too until often. like this year. You yeah. said all of my good sloth teeth I've only found in the last like six months or so. Yeah. I have four or five broken arimatherium teeth. I haven't a baby sloth claw, but I don't have really have that many good teeth. <laughs> I have no sloth claw yet. That's that's on my bucket list. Oh, you have a half a tooth? Half an arimatherium tooth, yeah. And how big is that? Mm. Oh yeah, that's pretty big. It would have had the root coming down and the other side. They had the two big old, big old things on them and the root that came down on it. You know, not obviously not that long, <laughs> but you know, it's. Hopefully, I can find a picture to, yeah, to yeah. put on there. <laughs> This is a great white. It's maybe the smallest one I've ever seen. It's got a little damage to the root, but that's gonna go in my collection just because of the sheer tininess of it. You can tell it is a great white just because of those thick serrations. There's really no burlette of any sort. And I'm excited about this little find. We found an incredible spot. It just seems to keep giving and giving. Check out Joe's finds. Show me them goods. I got some good stuff. <laughs> bison premolar. Bison or camel. Let me see the, the chewing surface. If I can focus. There it is. Yeah. Okay. Bison molar. Yeah. Bison have a little, it's called a stylid. That's that little circle in the middle. I think that's what's going on right there. Yep. Little baby mammoth tooth. That is cool. Busted, but still. Yeah. That's a cool find. Very rare find. And the sloth tooth. That Those I like with light, yeah. Because you can yeah. see the ring. You can see the lines through them, the yeah. ripples. And then we got this ID as a mammoth spit tooth. It's the very front end of a mammoth tooth that was shed while the animal was still alive. That's why it looks so wacky and almost like a fossil meteorite or something. And who ID'd that? John Valentine. He has a YouTube channel, but it's not that good. <laughs> Subscribe to Digging Science. <laughs> if you watch his videos, you know Joe. And the big time find right here. Nice premolar to oh, a yeah. mastodon. Everybody loves a mastodon three. teeth. Well, they're my favorite. Yeah. What was your goal when you came out? Honestly? I wanted to find a mastodon tooth. Y you wanted a mastodon tooth from this yeah, river? Yeah, I wanted a mastodon tooth in the jaw with another one right behind it. <laughs> but I got a meg tooth. And more meg teeth. Uh, sweet little button posterior. Yeah, it's pretty. And got a whole bunch of meg teeth. Look at this, guys. We did well. And a whole pile of horse teeth, too. They're not all perfect, but 
that kind of volume, that's constant fun. I also got a sweet whale tooth. Oh wow, that's a really nice whale tooth. Yeah. That's lots of horse teeth. That's a cooler than the Meg to me. Got the pocket in the back. Very nice. So I got a lot of pretty makos, but I also have pretty tigers. Check these guys out. Everything down there was, there's just some high quality stuff. And I got a little bit of all of it. Let's get back in. Watch the video. Okay. These no scenes are the real deal. Are we recording? Yeah. Okay. Well, this is the reality. These no scenes are absolutely tearing me apart. Okay, so we got a ton of teeth and and plenty of wonderful ones. These hemipristus are just incredible, perfect specimens. I'm excited about those. Oh, <laughs> and again, I got myself a little pile of poo. Yeah. Now See, you're supposed to do that over the edge of the boat, right? <laughs> I actually seem to be on a um, poo streak lately. Every time I come out. Oh yeah, this this Mako is one of my longest. Um, it's a lower Mako, nice and skinny Mako. I don't know what the official, oh, I do have this bag. Length is, but this will kind of help. It'll be a rough estimate. Yeah, it's just uh, just under two and a half, it looks like, but still. Pretty, yeah, right about two and a half. I'm excited about that. I also got this mammoth tooth here. You've seen some of the mammoth teeth lately and you see me getting all excited about the quality. Well, here's why. This is a piece of crap. Um, <laughs> it, the river is not kind to all fossils. Time is not kind to all fossils. And this is just good proof of that. So be appreciative of the good stuff you find because plenty of it gets damaged along the way. Oh, Beth. It's Beth, I guarantee it. You named the manatee? Just one of them, my oh. favorite one. Oh, right there. Usually if you tap on the... <laughs> What's happening? I don't know. I wish I was watching the whole time. That was not a manatee, folks. No. Nope. That was... More likely bull shark? I don't... That was big, whatever that was. Yeah, it was.